So this is my kitchen. And one of the things I want to show you are these hedgehogs, which were made for me by one of my closest friends. And my morning routine every morning is I come into my kitchen and I make the strongest coffee I can make. And then I pour it into one of these red mugs, which is also the same colour red as my 1970 jumper. And I love this tomato soup colour. And I sit down and have a bit of toast and marmalade. And I usually put my feet on the table. Yeah. 
pictures with both hands to my face and to my eyes flew above me. I like to bet they said the women have those forever. Wings and hands, that most natural formula for. Like the water comes above you
Ascension in 2018. It was the fifth building on the left as you enter Butterfield. I reported to Caesar Dean in 2018. At the start of 2019, there was a lull. A lull? We were almost like a rudderless ship. We were not alone. The whole business part was rudderless. He was a spare tire. He talk as though he was made of rubber. I talk as if he was round. Part of the problem here is me being born on April the 30th. Your question was about months with 30 days, right? No, why would you think that? Would you say erratic behaviour like this is habitual? You will report on the Masons that similar characteristics. I see connections. On February 7th, we were required to prepare for our annual Dickensian evening, but you left your desk at 2.27pm. Why did you leave work at 2.27? You said you would make your own way to the event instead of meeting the minibus at the entrance to the Butterfield Business Centre because you suffer from car sickness and depression. Caesar with an S printed out a train map for you but you still did not materialise. What were you doing instead? Do you understand the need to attend these events in the future? addict of a pale drug. It's not literally a drug, but a type of air around me. Some people have coffee table books on the tarot. Others consume Nick Cave's output. You don't see me passing judgement. I prefer to type in the terms on a free search engine. You lot are pro-snobbery. These biases are not unconscious biases, as you claim. They're just dressed up to seem unintentional. You talk like you've had an epiphany. Having an epiphany is a luxury I can't afford. <laughs> you won't be content until they have you wearing a concrete overcoat. Tributes haven't been pouring in for you since you went off. What have you been doing? My neighbours have a shift system with dogs. I've been observing them. I've also tried to get a window seat in a cafe. There is a window seat coming up in our hotel. You were saying And once it's dark, I try and scare up an evening meal. Why don't you ever have the leavings from the boardroom you can eat? Because I don't see the emails. I'm suspended, remember? Locked out of our grid. Yesterday I found a rubber gargoyle on the doorstep, being rained on. It reminded me of my line manager. How do you intend to return to work if you allow yourself to my get My breasts wet? got slowly wetter since getting rid of no deposit plastic bottles. Please don't be graphic about your body. <laughs> We've always endeavoured to keep your minds and bodies flowing away from the gutter. It's as if you've never used a walk-in toilet before. In 2020, we received two incident report forms about your cider. One claims you smell like an orchard you drink so much cider. Another said you attract fruit fruit flies. <laughs> started it in summer 2021. Initially, Caesar Dean was hands off. Nobody questioned his cred. He had all of Nick Cave's novels and films, a compendium type figure almost. Do you have any uplifting music you can put on? I want to video our reactions when the chorus comes in. You can get in a lot of trouble for recording people without their permission. That's fascinating, thank you. 
This space is booked at 10.30. We're launching a team photo in thick rims. Do you have any questions about how the investigation will play out? If you had anything on me, we wouldn't be sitting here. But my dad was waiting for a ruling from his employers for so long. The HR ended up delivering it in a note attached to some orchids. He was old school like that. Refused to apologise to his line manager. I went to tidy up his grave a few years ago, and I read the card. It said they'd close the investigation into his conduct and it had been escalated to a disciplinary. Maybe save these little remarks for your memoir. Here they come with the rims. Since the investigation started, I'm lucky if I get an hour's sleep. I have this neighbour, Brick Red, never seems to sit or lie down. I'm convinced he's in an even worse state than I am, because whatever time I wake up, he's there. When will you leave? you're expecting us to see you anew, but we see you depersonalised. A herd creature, probably horizontal, under the influence of cream sherry. We know about the direct messages you sent. I don't touch the stuff now. <laughs> Try imagining me on an old carpet, listening to the clanking brass bell clock. I keep a small praying St. Francis by my pillow. The birds waiting to dive off its if hands. And when you return, you will report to the former British Prime Minister Theresa May. <laughs> My bedroom is laid out the same way as Mum liked it. A photo of her husband posing beside a stranger's Cadillac. The man I mentioned earlier. Don't worry. There's hundreds of this kind wandering the countryside within a 50 mile radius. Most of them under some kind of HR investigation. <laughs> Do you ever see yourself gaining or regaining the rhythm that institutions require? I've stopped asking myself that. All I have now is the town. The pavements are narrow and drizzly. As soon as you get anywhere well lit, you need to turn back. That could be more different from the life here. Swimming pool, flat lawns, stand-up plaster bird baths. It's as if you contain an error. Caesar Dean's path, in contrast to yours, has led him away from darkness and anger. His expansive curiosity, generosity of spirit, and active sense of humor. You make him sound like Nick Cave! <laughs> Caesar and Caesar with an S are all dogs of the same pelt. You're persevering with that line. Mr. Cave's readers would be foolish to expect orthodox positions from an author who has eschewed them since day one. Well, yes and no. You say you are in the result of business. But even leaving that aside, I want to talk he about... He a sniper-like focus on results. Leaving that aside, I want to concentrate on the issue of the month he overlooked, April. There was a disconnect somewhere between his focus and the outcome with Tarrant. He smashed the hundred-pound question. About dogs? He would get it right. We are a nation of dog lovers. Even if you don't have one yourself, you need to engage with owners about breeds, behaviour, etc. You sound like you disapprove of dog ownership as well. Do you really think you're agile enough on these subjects? Increasingly, I'm bombarded with information about people's dogs. They put them in the window when you walk down the road. And if you look at your phone, there's sentimental videos of dogs helping the bereaved. How do you envisage showing more agility in the future? I don't envisage anything. How do you feel about superficial conversations? And can you tell if someone else thinks you should laugh? How can you sit there and hear how we went from being a tight ship to a rudderless one in less than 12 months with Caesar pulling the strings? When someone wets their whistle, they get managed out of position. Are you above employment law? Have you ever tried to keep it light? to ask several people at once how they intend their weekend to play out. I'm not apologising if you think my life's one long pointless pose. And if anything, you're as guilty of this as I am of this, if not more so. What impact have Caesar and Caesar with an X had on your mental well-being and health? It's too early to say. 
one day you will find out where your mental health has affected Caesar Dean and Caesar with an S. I can't wait.